So I got this email from one of my subscribers that asked three months software development boot camp or three years management information systems degree. And to me, that's like comparing cats versus dogs, but I think I understand where they are trying to go. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing whether you should do a programming boot camp versus going to college. And that's how I'm going to answer it in this video, guys. So let's get to the video. What is up, Ladder Climbers? This is Antoine Waite. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing whether you should do a programming boot camp or if you should go to college and do an MIS degree. Welcome back to the Black Heights channel where we talk about all things related to the skill development in the IT sector. Now, before we get to the video, do me a stone cold favor and stump that like button as it helps us grow the channel. And guys, we are going to jump right into this one or not whether you should do a programming boot camp versus going to college and doing something like management information systems and thank you so much for asking that question and i gotta say this coding versus college there's a lot of things that you're going to want to consider when you are doing one or the other one because Choosing whether to learn to code at a coding boot camp or doing a management information systems degree at a university, there's a lot of things that you got to think about. There's a lot of things that you got to think about. Coding boot camps are anywhere from three to six months long, and they are intensive and they teach you how to code and they teach you a lot of practical skills and applicable skills that you can use and that are up to date. And it gives you a lot of career coaching and things like that. But a lot of them aren't accredited and a lot of them are frauds and a lot of them aren't frauds. Uh, but you do not get a qualification if it isn't really accredited. Now, if you attend a coding bootcamp, you will need to prove your skills through your portfolio. So you're gonna to have to maintain a portfolio of all the things that you've been able to code over time, and you're gonna to have to prove your skills through a portfolio versus a management information systems degree or something like that, which may take you anywhere from three to four years to complete. And it really covers an in-depth theoretical material around business, around organization, around people, and around technology, right? And part of that is programming. So if you want to do programming, if you want to do programming, management information systems is a career where you can be a programmer. Computer science is a career if you want to be a programmer. And typically what happens is this, you get to provide a degree that shows your work and that you've gone through it. And you will learn a lot in management information systems as well as in computer science. And when you are going into a job like coding and you had to have a management information systems degree or a computer science degree, you're going to have to show your skills in a technical interview. My first technical interview, I passed out, not literally passed out, but I blacked out. I totally forgot the technical portion of the uh, interview and I just remember coming to and it was already six minutes into the test and I did not do very good but I did very well in the other sections of the interview and I got the job but anyway coding boot camps cost anywhere between ten thousand dollars to twenty thousand dollars all up front and CES degrees or management information systems degrees cost anywhere from twenty thousand dollars per semester so let's talk let's start by talking about the overall cost guys if cost is a big factor then boot camps will certainly win when um you're in a coding boot camp and cost is the factor the cost on average for boot camps are is around thirteen thousand dollars or thirteen thousand five hundred dollars and the tuition at a top mis or computer science program it basically quadruples that per semester or academic year, guys. So 
if cost is the contributing factor for you wanting to learn how to code and getting a job as a developer, then you probably want to go with a coding bootcamp versus going to university. Now, you have to think about this not just from a cost perspective, but you want to think about this from a long term perspective, too. Now, you another thing that's a, a, a part of cost is your living cost, right? Because in a coding boot camp, it's going to be short term um, stays. If you're going to go to some place like San Francisco and attend it, um, you know, the coding boot camp uh, in person, or if you're going to do it online, there's not going to be much of a cost, and you can do it at the, you know, at the comfortability of at your desk or in your own home. Now, if you're going to go to college, of course, you're going to have to pay for a room and board and things like that. So cost is a big factor. And if it's just on cost, then you're probably going to want to do a coding bootcamp. So let's talk about return on investment. Whenever you buy something, you always want to make sure that you look at the overall return on investment in traditional college folks who do not graduate with a computer science or management information systems degree, a lot of them end up coming out of school with no job prospects. And I don't think that's going to stop. But typically what ends up happening with folks who are in management information systems or computer science, those guys typically secure a job within three months of graduation. And if you've done internships like you should be doing, if you are a current management information systems major, you're probably going to come out of school already being already having a job. But if you think about it from a time wise perspective and return on investment, most coding boot camps graduates, their their graduates, that is, they invest anywhere from three to six months in a coding boot camp in a coding boot camp while college folks invest around four years. And um, um, from a financial investment perspective, the average starting salary of a coding boot camp graduate is around $70,000. That is a good amount of money. Whereas the average starting salary for somebody who graduates in management information systems or computer science is anywhere in between uh, $50,000 all the way up to $106,000. So and if you think about it, that's for a, um, you know, with a fraction of the time, with a fraction of the time, three to six months from a coding boot camp, your return on investment is going to be a lot higher initially, right? With a coding boot camp. Now let's talk about the time commitment of a coding boot camp versus going to school and doing something like management information systems or computer science. And with a coding boot camp, you're going to learn many of the skills in the boot camp, but you got to think about it. You're only in there for anywhere from three to six months, and you're going to learn the basics of programming languages and things like that. Um, and then you're going to need some time to develop your expertise. Uh, boot camps, like I think there's one out there, like Generally Assembly and you know Thinkful, they do offer you know flexible programs for students uh, who need to balance work, family, and, and and life and learning and things like that. Kind of like a graduate flexibility program. You know, I did grad school at one point in time, and I was managing having a wife having kids, having a new house and having a full time job. And, you know, some of these coding boot camps allows that because they understand that people um, are going through job transitions or are going through career transitions and they want to start somewhere else. And a coding boot camp, you know, needs to be flexible in order for you to get the types of people that you want. Well, on the contrast, most computer science degrees programs, you know, they um, in management information systems, that is as well, too. Uh, they last four years and, you know, the most ambitious graduates can, you know, graduate within, you know, three years. But it's still tough in order for you to do that. And for, you know, computer science or management information systems, they are tough. They are tough degrees. You know, I think computer science is more a lot more tough tougher than management information systems, but they both aren't for the faint of heart. And with that said, um, the time commitment comes where you have to practice and there's no shortcuts to the number of hours that you have to practice. And with a 
com, you know, a programming boot camp, you're not going to get the number of hours of practice as you would if you were a management information systems major focusing on coding or a computer science major uh, focusing on coding because you just got to think about three years um, uh, four years versus uh, three to six months, right? Who has the most hours to practice on coding? So um, if you are a management information systems and you really want to do development work, you have literally four years to practice on your coding and you're typically going to come out of school uh, with a above average understanding of programming uh, versus a you know person who has uh, boot camp and gone there for anywhere from you know three six months uh, they're going to understand the basics but they're going to need to spend some more time to develop that uh, expertise to get to that average level so let's now talk about the overall curriculum for the boot camps versus uh, a computer science major or management information systems major um, I will start with computer science, right? Because computer science is really around the coding pieces of it. And, you know, computer science degrees, they teach you things uh, like uh, programming in Java, programming in C++, operating systems designs. Uh, they teach you things about computer science theory, advanced mathematics, and algorithms. And MIS, they probably will teach you maybe something like programming in C++ um, and a little bit about algorithms. And you can take electives and things like that. Whereas boot camps, boot camps today, they teach you uh, Ruby, they'll teach you Python, they'll teach you JavaScript, they'll teach you GitHub, they'll teach you APIs, they'll do some career coaching and things like that. But the uh, management information systems or computer science curriculum, they offer you more of a well-rounded view of computers and uh, business understanding. Uh, and operating systems and things like that versus a boot camp where you're only getting that experience for a limited amount of time. So um, you have to also consider things like learning styles, right? Are you the type of person that uh, need to take breaks where if you're going to uh, go to college, you do have an opportunity to take breaks in summers and things like that. Whereas you are, if you are a boot camp uh, attainee or attendee, uh, you would um, go full hard or hardcore for three to six months, and then you have your breaks and stuff like that afterwards. But really, if you're a boot camp person, you really don't have time for breaks because you know you have people who are you know crunching it and trying to get it done and things like that. So I I, I would say if it comes down to curriculum perspective, I think the college is going to give you more of a well-rounded view, whether that is MIS or whether that is computer science uh, versus something like a boot camp. And college is also going to give you a lot more experience of just working with others and uh, doing things like teamwork because you're going to have uh, assignments that you need to work together with other people versus things like a boot camp where it's the, a lot of the assignments are going to be individual. Uh, you, it's going to force you to try to learn on your own, which is completely fine as well, too. So, but I would think I would say overall, the curriculum for a uh, college degree is a lot more broad and is going to open your mind up to new things. Last, I'm going to talk about the career outlook and the decision to join a boot camp or whether it is to go to college for MIS or computer science, it really determines or it really should be based on where do you see your long term outlook at? Um, what I mean by that is, is where do you see yourself in not just you know, uh, a year from now, where do you see yourself five to 10 years from now? If you see yourself being a person who is a vice president of a technology company like company like Google or Apple or something like that, then you probably want to go with the computer science or management information systems degree. Uh, if you want to work for a large corporation, they tend to value degrees a lot more. If you want to just be a technology developer and start your own business and be an entrepreneur, then I would say you probably want to go the route of the boot camp because being an entrepreneur and going to school, you're going to have so much theory that they're going to teach you and you're going to want to learn things or use the skills that you learn in school that typically is really theory based versus in spending a lot of time uh, doing it uh, versus you not having that knowledge and going to self teach yourself without all that additional added weight and bloat that they give you in university. So if you want to become an entrepreneur, I think the right approach would be for you to go to a boot camp, um, and because you're going to uh, spend less money on the overall cost, you're going to spend less time, you're going to be able to get your 
uh, salary uh, up there to around seventy thousand dollars and then you're going to if you want to start your own company you can do that at that time and you can learn a lot because the most successful entrepreneurs they they learn not just from the schooling that they have they learn from being able to really seek the knowledge outside of the school and um, you know, be able to become successful by putting himself through challenging and challenging courses and putting themselves through challenging situations and just learning on the fly. And going to a boot camp gives you that much more time to practice it. You have literally like three and a half less years to practice really the entrepreneurship than you would have if you were in college. So I think the career outlook, it really depends on what you want to be. If you want to be a corporate man, then you want to go with the uh, degree. If you want to be an entrepreneur, then you want to go with the boot camp. So that's my take on it, guys. Um, you know, there are alternatives as well, too. You can uh, get a degree and you can also go to a boot camp. You can have the best of both worlds, right? Um, you know, I've also thought about doing a boot camp myself. Matter of fact, I did do a boot camp. I did a boot camp on Ruby and Rails um, some years ago when I was uh, a support manager and I wanted to just improve my technical skills there. But um, that was great. That was a great experience for me. And I enjoyed that, but I never ever used it because that wasn't my job at that point in time. I just wanted to continue to uh, learn technology and things like that. But you know, there are alternatives, like I mentioned, going to school and doing the boot camp. So it's going to cost you a lot more money. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor. If you like this sort of content, leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. If you have attended a boot camp and you have had success, leave me a comment. Share, share it with the, the, the folks who follow this channel. If you have gone to college and you've had success, share it with the folks have that are on this channel as well in the comment section. If you have done both, I wanna hear about that too, guys. If you like this sort of content, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be alerted when I drop that new content. And until next time, y'all, peace.